see it, actually. It's really tight. <laughs> Before. Never sat down behind a set. And, I swear, uh, I promise you. Yeah, no I way. I don't, promise don't, don't, you. No way. I promise you. you. Just to the camera. Don't do I'm, that. I'm not lying. I mean, I beat box. I beat box. I play on. I play on desks mm -hmm. and shit. Now you want to try to do what I was doing? Well, I tried. That's what, a, what my rendition was. The rudiment is a specific series of rights and lefts. Okay. Okay. So, try this one. You're going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's right, left, It's amazing how the stories come uh, uh, from a family member when it's uh, music or whatever you do. When you're doing it, you're working on something, where you're headed, where you're going, uh -huh. you really don't normally think about where you got that from, where that first yeah. taste of it that you like so much came from, you know what I mean? So When I when I like decided to do it full time, that's the, I, like I had to go back and I had to find out why because then I went back in, into like music writing mode and then I didn't I realized I didn't have any material and then I was like, Well why don't I have any material? And then I was like, Well what have I been doing? So then I had to go back and figure out where I got my inspiration to write music when I was younger. So Mm -hmm. I don't know, but uh, he he like he won't touch an instrument to this day. He like he had to walk away from music. So and why you, why you think that is that he's gonna choose to uh, walk away from it? Like don't touch uh, he had some 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 battles that he had to work out, and it took him a couple years to get uh, that okay. figured out. Gotcha, and so gotcha, gotcha. he is. Like when he comes to like my practices and stuff, he won't even, he might help set up, he might tune an instrument, he might, and that's the extent of him playing, mm. is tuning an instrument, and that's it. And then he'll put it down. He won't even like hand it to you, he'll just set it back down. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's deep. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a lot. He, yeah. Here comes the main. Fall down with this. They didn't want that. It's like what you're saying about the addition that not the addition, but uh, 
I had your boys open up, the, the first band opened up, yeah. and they crushed it in the beginning instead of waiting and pa being patient. Yeah. Shorty, you're the perfect height. This is shorts. She's always there. <laughs> always. <laughs> always there. You're so cool. Made of drum sets that's like 50 feet high. It's just like a like. How many drum like how many pieces? Like, like in the what's store. A full, what is a full drum set like? What, how many pieces is that? Usually, if you were to get if you were to go and get like a beginner set. Are you playing? Absolutely. They're gonna get a beginner set. No, like a full drum set, like a. Uh, there is no. There is no. It's limits. depending upon the. Really. There are people with. There are people that rock literally 20 cymbals and like 10, oh, and cymbal. 10 toms. They really? have with percussions. They you know, they'll, have, they'll have like mounted tambourines and cowbells. And whatever. It's whatever you want to do. Like, really? I use, I usually use four toms. Like I have another, I have another floor toms in my mm. car though. Mm -hmm. But I should have brought it in here. But um, and that's a lot for that's a lot for me. Like I'm cool with just two times, like one rack time, one floor time. And your basic set will be snare, one rack time, one floor time, a uh, hi hat, kick drum, and uh, a cymbal, and then a ride. A hi hat. That's crazy. So. Hmm. How do you know what they all sound like? Just after playing it. That's crazy. They're different sizes. Like the symbols are different sizes. So, different. so when you go to the store, then how do you like? If you want to like pick whatever. I'll try them out. What is? No. Oh. I'm all about like I, I gotta hit it, hear how it sounds. Like I don't care mm -hmm. what it is. Like I'm not like oh I only use you know blah, certain blah, brand yeah. or anything. Yeah, that's not like that. It's just try whatever. It out. I like I like the way it sounds. Are there certain brands that you like the sound of them better than others? Not really. It's just depends on a particular actual symbol <laughs> itself. Itself, yeah, symbol itself. Like I have out of all my symbols, I'm using I'm using. Wow. These are four different brands. Pearl, which just you know, just came with the set. This is Zildjian. This is Sabian. This is Pasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man. Right. So and you just tried it out, and that's what you came with. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I like that you you put it together. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a, a standard. It's better that way. You like you know your instrument better. You know what I mean? And I've been thinking about getting a new set, but it's just like, man, I've been with this for so long. Kind of, yeah. Oh, no, you piece together way. what you like. Though. Exactly, like the snare. You always, any, every drummer has a a snare you know, that they love. Snare. You can just replace right. the pad yeah. things, right? Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you just do that? They're a little beat up. Huh? The drum itself, a little beat up. Hmm. It's like a little scar, but. I'm gonna replace the head before I get a new set. That's what I'm saying. You see what? This is really loud. <laughs> it is. It's really it is. No matter how, no matter how tight I try to, you know, say screw it to the bone. <laughs> it's it's like every which direction. <laughs> it's extreme. Come on, Riley. Oh, you like that? I mean, it was cool, like, you know, everybody did come over and then, like, you know, merge the show after that, but they did, like, kind of set the move for periodically. But that's, that's, that might be part of it, too, though. That's cool, too. And you throwing that, you throwing that. What was this, like, put your shit, put your shit, like, 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 yeah, no, I mean, I don't know if it is part of it. It's not worth it. Like, you know, it's a lot of things I'm telling them. Ain't nobody like that. Ain't nobody that big. 
my point. Like, you know, like promoters, 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 promoters are like this. That's why they, promoters is what we're doing when they say, uh, we give y'all guys a spot, but not open for these guys. They are controlling, kidding. Name sound black. <laughs> So what are you doing? How do you like know where to put your drum set? Like, is there a standard way? Well, certain things. Is it just by feel? Certain things. Uh, certain things like I have no control over. Like for instance, well, I, I guess I do have control over it. But so my my pedals right here, they're gonna be like that's how. <laughs> <laughs> that's the distance I like my pedals. So when I attach it, because it attaches to this uh, kick drum. So when I attach it, I'm, it's going to be that much distance, right? So that gives me how much space I have to set my snare stand. Mm. That's my snare stand since it's between the two. So I just start with stuff like that. Does your foot ever get caught on it? Um, <laughs> like like yeah, okay. It's like I keep bitching about, I'm always bitching about the snare, this uh, hi hat stand. As you can see, first of all. <laughs> My uh, cymbals team. are warped, starting from the top. I need new cymbals entirely. Secondly, the damn. Uh, Does it feel the like night, tighter? Yeah, thing? it got stripped. Uh, so it doesn't tighten. So <laughs> now I gotta like duct tape, tape it to the height I needed to. Which this is not the height I needed. I actually need a higher. It's just slid down. You know, duct tape. You know what I mean? And oh, <laughs> third, this damn leg. Like I need a two. I need a two legs. Stand so it doesn't get in the way of my um, left, my double bass pedal. It's so like, you want it closer? All right, so I need this. I need the legs to be on the back. Like the mm. legs need to be like this. Right, because that's the two. Like that and then this would be the third leg. Mm -hmm. Versus having three legs and this, because I have to set my hat stand um. like that. So when I access my left pedal it's like it's, it's cool it's not a big thing because i just slap my foot over here right but it'd just be nice not to have this here like i right. can really like stomp i could you know attack it this way versus like just sliding yeah which is not a big deal like i said i can get over it like i can get over it but it ideally. would be nice yeah, yeah ideally i would like that some more space right there so yeah i wanted to get a new one today actually yeah, I but i'll probably have to Oh, you're doing all this like ASAP? 
No, like, yeah. Like, like today, before, like before right now. Before my next show. Like, I'm not playing another show with this damn. <laughs> 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 no more, I can't do it. It pisses me off for so long, but she's expensive, you know what I'm saying? But that other one doesn't, I mean, I guess because your, your foot just stays there. What? So that one, because there's not another pedal. This one? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, my foot literally. Get him into music, or like, where did his journey start off? Whoa! <laughs> Ready for this? Yes. yes Seriously. Yeah. Uh, when he was uh, when he was in his mom's belly, <laughs> coming to band practice. I'm serious, no, no joke. True story. This is true. This is this is true. Uh, he'd come and you know we'd be playing a song. So when we stopped, you could go feel him. I mean, everybody would just go feel it, and he would still be doing the beat, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He'd still be feeling the song, he'd still tell him, he's, wait a minute, he's moving to that song. Whether it was a slow song, fast song, that's what he'd be moving to. That's what his, that's, that's what crazy. his, I mean, it is. I mean, it's, it sounds, it's corny, but uh, some people believe in aliens and some people don't. He's an alien? No, I'm just saying, <laughs> some people do, some people don't. So some stories are, that sound like they ain't true, are true, and right. vice versa. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. so. Sorry. I, I need to be like, I, I want to like, I want to sit in on this conversation. Do you mind? Because I, I get really emotional with, with stuff like that. Like yeah. Talk to I told, uh, when I, <laughs> he probably, your son probably said something crazy. When Are you I, blinded when I was right talking now? talking to him, I got like really emotional. Huh? He's probably like, yo, this girl's fucking like crazy. So Mika's is blinded. It is bright? It is so bright. Oh, you're sleepy. Look down. You're just look tired. Down. Look over it. No, don't never look at it. <laughs> it's right in front of us. I'll do all this. What, what's your, what's your, what is your earliest, <laughs> like, memory of being like, oh, I like playing the drums. Uh, I want to play the drums my, instead of my, going outside. My very early, my very, very, very earliest memory of that was, uh, I was young. I couldn't tell you how young I was. I was small. I mean, I was obviously a young child. Due to where we were living at the time, I know I was really young. Mm -hmm. Four or five or whatever. And I, uh, I would like, you know, I would get pots and pans and, you know, 
<laughs> I need different size pots. Made made different sounds. Really? <laughs> different pans. Even the I need the pots, you know, the, you know, pan, pan, mm. pot, pot. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> so uh, I would do that. That was that's my that's my first one with doing that like on buckets. I had buckets, pots, and pans. That's what it was like. I remember I remember it's like being in there and just messing around for like a very very long time. Like mm -hmm. you know, like from like from some like from light to dark. That's my that's my first memory. That's the that's the you know that's the very first memory I can even associate drums with at all. So it had to be like you know four or five or so. I finally I got a drum set when I was like you know, fourteen or so. But I didn't, you know, it's one thing when you play, you know, uh, often like when you're practicing it almost every day mm -hmm. to, to get better. Like when I'm practicing, I sound awful. I sound awful because I'm always, you know, I'm always, you know, yeah. But, to but you things. have to experiment. You have to experiment to see. Like, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to expand. I'm always trying mm -hmm. to expand. And, you know, so I always sound. Awkward or whatever. <laughs> so you, so did you, did you play the drums? Did you teach them to play? Mm -mm. Definitely not drums. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I was more to just uh, supporting then. Uh, yeah, but uh, I like to write songs. You know, okay. that's my thing. I don't really like to. Uh, create in that way. Mm -hmm. Play with me. Put my layers together. Did I try to play uh, drums? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was that's a, that, that was an effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some people have it naturally. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so they can go to the next level. Mm -hmm. You know, I, no, that's, that was, drums was not my thing. But uh, music I've always been around music like everybody. Yeah. You know, we all are. I feel like, like, I feel like in any culture, that's like, that's um, a connection. Like, as long as the music is real and authentic, you can, it, it I don't know, like, um, I've heard like Asian music. Yes. And it's like really like, like twangy, like tangy, you know, I just, it makes me like feel peaceful inside. Mm -hmm. And I don't even like have that in my culture. Right. So it's cool, but I don't know. Do you play the keys? I don't play. Yeah, I, play I mean, I'm trying to play. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I took a pose with. Yeah, right. Like, I just play them. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you get over there and play them. Yeah. you playing keys. Yeah, I mean, I play, but I don't know what I'm, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, uh, at some point, nobody knows what they're doing in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if you can mess around with it, you know more. personal level and then moving forward and then going into okay what is the traditional way and how do I actually play this instrument the proper way or do you feel the best way to learn is to go through that training first and then explore your creative uh, uh, yeah uh, I would say both <laughs> it's, it's, very, it's really it's very important to um, to go through your own trial and error, mm. you know, process, because that gives you character, you know. And a lot of people, like a lot of people, there are people out there who are great pianists. You know, mm. you put some a classical piece in front of them, yeah. <laughs> but they don't have one creative mm -hmm. impulse in their body. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, what do you want to be? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Do you just want to be a robot? that can, you know, just technically play, play or mm -hmm. do you want to create music? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, do you want to do you want to portray in, you know, emotions? Do you want to be more personal with it yourself? Yeah. So, it depends. Now, I think be a pioneer I, I, or like create a whole it, different uh, genre. You want to express you yeah. yourself or mm -hmm. you just want like you, know, you just want something to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, you got to define that first. And also, there's a, I think it's also on the other end, it's very important to uh, study 
others. Like, mm -hmm. look at what others have done. Like, I look at drummers' videos all the time. You know what I'm saying? They're way better than me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> They're way better than me, but I have to, you got to know where you're at to know mm -hmm. where you want to get to. And that's how good I would like to be someday. So I'll, I'll study those guys, see what they're doing. You know, that helps you. They have great advice, you know what I mean? And it helps you, it gives you a foundation of like, you know, where you could potentially, it gives you a, you can see where you could, you know, potentially be you know, if you put all the time into it. It's like proof, you know what I mean? It like gives you a continuous growth versus just doing what you know. Yeah, it gives you something to compare yourself somebody to. somebody else doing also. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, my answer to that question, uh, which way was best? to get into music, my answer was exactly what he said, it's both. What you do is you get into it and you get involved mm -hmm. and you stay on it. And that's 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 it, you know? You know what I mean? That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. With anything. With, mm -hmm. with anything. Mm -hmm. And, and that's true, music. like the get involved part is, mm -hmm. that is, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. You need to. But music's easy because, I mean, it's an easy thing to, I feel like, it's an easy thing to stick with for the simple fact that it's universal. Like, every, if there's one thing that everybody likes, it's music. Whatever type it is. Like, every person, pretty, every person listens to music. You know what I mean? Everybody listens to Almost in one way or another. The mass majority of people actually love it. You yes. know, that's the type of passion we had. Like you said, with the Asian music, you mm -hmm. listen, it does something. Yeah. You just like you're so little, ready. Like yes. when you walk into, yeah. I don't know, an Asian shop, like, a, I don't know, maybe I, I'm, I give my nails done. I don't know. But you guys, but when I walk in and they have their music playing, I'm just like, OK, yes, I want to sit down. Thank you. No, I feel that way about it. <laughs> I feel that way about uh, all music myself. You yeah. Know, Chinese some, some website. Yeah. Music, come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. It's like nice. That's cool. Let's see. Yeah. So what about you? You write? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, unable, I'm, I'm incapable of not writing. If I don't have a pencil or a pad around me, like I said, when when I shorty said something earlier, mm -hmm. I heard a, you know, mm -hmm. that's a lyric. Did you go? You know did you I go mean? stand there write it down? I, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, but I still got it. Uh, but yeah, normally I will. So I hear something, I'll write it down, and I've been that way since probably eight. Oh, wow. Eight years of age or something like that. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Uh, my mom pushed me into it. Uh, I was happy to go, so she didn't have to push very mm -hmm. hard. You know, she always just wanted us to do, her uh, kids to do something, do something, love, you love something. You know, do something creative every day. Uh, I seen a T-shirt that has that on it, but it makes so much sense. Um, use it like it's mine. Do something creative every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to breathe better, look better, feel better. Mm -hmm. Do something creative. It's, a, it's you get uh, so much uh, energy from it and creative people. You know, being in a circle with people doing things versus people ain't doing nothing. You know, so uh, that's all I got to say about that. That's true. Mm -hmm. I was I was just talking to a friend of mine and he was telling me that he like he feels so good that, you know, he he's doing much better than the the people he surrounds himself by. And I'm just like, Well, okay, well let's look at who you surround yourself by and I'm like, They don't they're not doing anything. And so I'm like, What are you accomplishing? And like you just said, it's you feel so great because you're a con you're you're surrounding yourself by people that aren't doing anything. So what does that say about you? So it's his test is to, you know, move forward and to start surrounding himself by at least like minded people or mm -hmm. people with the minds where he would like to be or what a mind that he would like to have or in all those, you know, demographic or, you know, socio economic and all that all that stuff mm -hmm. but so he was hurt when I told him that but it's like you need a wake-up call every now and then and I think it's great that um, like myself you can come back home after college and and move back in with your parents and get focused on your dreams and that's what I'm doing so I just 
it, I'm, it's so inspiring. It really is. So I like that energy. And I'm all for, like, you know, energy can, you know, neither be created nor destroyed. So, like, right. let's keep, mix it up and, like, keep, keep get, get that ball of fire going. Mm -hmm. So I like I like this energy. So do, you, do you guys like work together? Or you have a question for me? No, I was going to say, well said. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> we work together. favorite songs uh, that I've ever written uh, when he was like eight or nine I was playing my keyboard and I was playing my keyboard and it had little drum kicks on it but I never would record a drum track you know what I mean I just used what was there mm -hmm. um, and he tapped down this drum beat on the keyboard and never played keyboard at all mm -hmm. and I actually wrote a song to it <laughs> you, you'd love to hear it <laughs> you, you got it? Yes. You can play that, yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, I don't have I don't can't pull it up right now, but I got it somewhere. Yeah. For sure. That's, that's did you end up playing did you end up recording it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Did you it's record it? Yeah. Or did he? I took uh, it was okay. something that he was messing around with mm -hmm. and I actually heard it and I liked wow. it and I made the whole song out. It was, it was my real, first beat. Real good song. <laughs> Very first beat. I was like I was like nine. That's two. cool. So yeah, the best the, your first beat that you composed. Yeah. Like, yeah, for sure. That's amazing. Yes. That's awesome. Just sit back there and just to get to know it. Like, all right, <laughs> trial and error. You just gotta try. It. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like everything, you, you you don't know how to do it in the beginning. You learn, and then time goes past, and eventually, yeah. You, it, you know what I'm saying? You know how to do it. So, I got a uh, a good one. Uh, one of the deep uh, stories to tell, real quick. Uh, when he was real young, and he was already had that energy beat because we felt it when he was in in the womb still. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we lived in apartments, and I could never get him a pair of drums. He'd be beating on stuff. Like you said, the pots and pans, mm -hmm. true story. Uh -huh. uh, you didn't have nothing else, you know what I mean? He yeah. wanted to beat on stuff. He always did. Just be sitting, you know what I mean, all the time. And uh, we lived in apartments for so long, I mean, I guess till he was 13, 14, or whatever, uh, that we could finally, actually his 16th birthday, uh, Gave him a set of drums. And so Christmas, uh, finally, after all this time, he even doing it on the keyboard to, to make a beat. <laughs> you know? On the keyboard, you know what I mean? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and I used to break my heart to see these little bitty drum sets for little dudes, you know what I mean? For my son, like, little dude, and he's loving to play, and I'm playing music. You know, I'm playing music. He's like, like that, you be playing, you be all into that. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I want to do it too. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, all right then. <laughs> I wanted to get him one of them sets and uh, just, just just couldn't. But that was that was uh, a hard thing. It's a happy thing to see where he's at today, even though that didn't happen. Uh, maybe that the desire, the fact that he didn't get it, made, made him want it exactly. so bad mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you never know. Yeah. So like, and it's know. good that you didn't like lose that you went back or maybe not necessarily went back you continue to go forward but I you went always, back. always yeah. maintain that desire that mm -hmm. desire was there I'm gonna get my son a set of drums mm -hmm. I didn't care if he played them for two weeks I just know no, he always wanted them too you know what I mean when he was little he's like mm -hmm. I wish I could I wish I had a set of drums dad and like oh you know what I mean and that's for mm -hmm. real that's for real mm -hmm. and then he can sing too I always wanted that. Mm -hmm. See, he can sing. Like, mm -hmm. I always wanted that in mm -hmm. a bike, but you always came through with the bikes. So, yeah. Cause he was trying to ride. I got you a little car. A little, little car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The high wheels. Oh, the little, like, little, like, no, he had one of them Jeeps, your four seat little Jeep mm -hmm. that he could drive the motorized. Went about <laughs> three miles and two and a half miles an hour. <laughs> it was close to five. was up. I probably went about five, six. Yeah. It's going, though. Mm -hmm. It's enough to put the air in the wind. The hair and the wind. <laughs>
Yeah, locks have